Greetings, everyone, and welcome back. I'm the Chancellor Soul Mike Boone. You've tuned in to a special Soul Facts Show two-parter. The Irma Franklin Story, Part 2. With the popularity of Peace of My Heart and Burt Burns' sudden death, the label office began pouring in for Irma, such as RCA and Chicago's Brunswick label. Franklin chose Brunswick because she said her sister Carolyn was recording for RCA. Irma recorded one LP on Brunswick in 1969 that included cover songs called Soul Sister. She charted one single entitled Gotta Find Me a Lover 24 Hours a Day hitting number 40 R&B on April 19, 1969. In a 1973 interview conducted by the Ambassador of Soul, David Nathan, of the UK for Blues of Soul magazine, Irma talks about her experience at Brunswick Records. Here's how it went. You know, when they signed me, everyone was real excited and we got a single out, Gotta Find Me a Lover. After that, I was told we'd be doing an album, but instead of sending me material to work on, I heard nothing. And when the time came to record, they asked me what songs I did on my live performances. Well, that really isn't a way to do an album, and I was very upset at the way they handled it all. You know, after all the trouble at Epic and then Burt dying at Shout, I really had high hopes for Brunswick. But when things weren't happening, I was talking with Aretha, and she suggested, seeing how I needed a record badly, I should have her own production company do it to it, work on me. I asked Brunswick, and they said the idea of Aretha as my producer was fantastic. So, go ahead. Well, we were all ready. Aretha and Carolyn had some really great material together, and Aretha was going to fly her own 24-piece band to Chicago for the session and pay all expenses. On a week we were due to record, King Curtis was killed, and you know how close he was to Aretha. He was, in fact, due to have been on the session himself. Well, naturally, Aretha was broken up about it, so we shelved the idea for a few weeks. When we were ready to get it together again, Brunswick suddenly hacked out the idea, saying that they had their own producers and so on and so on and so on. You could imagine how I felt after that. I guess I just gave up on the company altogether. The worst part of the whole thing is I had to sit out my contract yet again. How unfortunate for Irma. Irma toured most of the United Kingdom and Canada in 1969. And in her return back to the States, she performed in New York venues such as the Apollo Theater, Lincoln Center, Carnegie Hall, and in Miami, Florida, the Coconut Grove. Franklin even headlined shows in Italy, Germany, West Africa, and some throughout the Caribbean. She was also a busy lady throughout the 80s as well. She lent a voice as a background vocalist for two of Aretha Franklin's LPs, her comeback album Jump To It in 1982, and her gospel album in 1987, One Lord, One Faith, One Baptist, recorded at their church in Detroit, New Bethel Baptist. Franklin also participated in the Aretha Showtime Special in 1986 and at Nelson Mandela's rally at Tiger Stadium on Saturday, June 28, 1990. In 1992, Sony Music Entertainment obtained the rights to the Shout catalog and enjoyed a surprise resurgence on Irma's 1967 hit, Peace of My Heart, when it was featured in the Levi's Jean commercial, No Two Pairs of the Same, that aired in the UK. David Nathan of Blues and Soul magazine 
informed Franklin that Peace of My Heart was gaining popularity from the commercial. And because of that, Sony Music issued a three-track CD compilation with two additional songs, Every Time We Say Goodbye and Love is Blind. The CD was also issued in the U.S. Irma was in total shock. Peace of My Heart charted number nine on the U.K. singles that same year in 92. Sony Music jumped on the bandwagon and produced a wonderful video of Irma lip-syncing Peace of My Heart shot at the soup kitchen on Sunday, October 25th, 1992 in Detroit, Michigan. You know, there's another great video of Irma lip-syncing her popular UK version of the Jackie Wilson classic 1968 hit of I Get the Sweetest Feeling. It was taped in the UK in 1999. Her last. Irma Franklin retired from singing and worked for the Boysville of Michigan Incorporated in her hometown of Detroit. She later was promoted as a copywriter at the Boysville Department of Community Relations. She also took time to raise her two children. Well, Irma just couldn't stay away. She returned back to the spotlight by making her last appearance singing background for her sister Aretha for a medley of songs such as Lloyd Price's Lordy Miss Claudie, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte, and Junior Walker and the All-Stars 1965 hit Shotgun as a tribute to their dad, the late Reverend C.L. Franklin, on the Oprah Winfrey Show in 1999. When Oprah and Teasen asked, So all these years people say, oh, you're Aretha Franklin's sister. Yes. Yeah. Irma laughed and said yes, but Aretha jumped in and said no. They say that that's Miss Irma and that she's her own woman. In a lot of ways, she certainly was. Sadly, Irma Franklin was diagnosed with throat cancer in the spring of 2002 and died that fall on September 7th on a Saturday in her home. She was 64 years old. She's buried at Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit. You know, although Irma Franklin was living in the shadows of her famous sister, Aretha, her contributions to the music world should not be ignored or erased. Irma would take not gaining fame like uh, a grain of salt. She once said, singing is fun, but singing for me is like a hobby because I'm more inclined towards business. As Aretha said of her big sister, Miss Irma is her own woman. And in every sense, she really was. Let's just be thankful that the music outlives the woman. Until we meet again musically, I'm the Chancellor of Soul. Soul Facts, a show written, created, produced, and copywritten by the Chancellor Soul, Mike Boone, and is a nonprofit organization presentation. <laughs>